Back by unpopular demand, we're gonna let's grumble Mega Man today, one of my all-time favorite games. I always start with Guts Man. My So Guts Man stage is, uh, it's hard, but it's short, and I think it's only hard if, uh, if you're the, the young and uninformed, I guess. This is what everyone complains about when it comes to the hardness of Guts Man stage, is these little platforms that drop on you. And they are hard, don't get me wrong, but, eh, I played this game a time or two. But this is Mega Man, and it's, if you don't know, then uh, I guess you don't know. Kids these days, I tell ya. But, uh, it's a platformer. You jump, you shoot, you, uh, climb ladders, go down holes. Basic stuff. It, uh, it spawned a whole franchise. I only count the first six as the real core of the game. Everything after that, well, I'm certain I'll have a whole bunch of people debating me on it, but... <laughs> but they're gonna have to watch my video first to, to hear me say that, so... Ha <laughs> ha! Joke's on them! Nobody watches these, except for me. My wife watches them every now and then, I guess. So you notice that there's uh, points up at the top of my screen. You might be asking yourself, oh, oh, that's a way to get free guys. Nope. That's a way to get continues. Nope. Everything's made up and the points mean nothing. It's just like whose line is it anyway? Everything's made up and the points don't matter. Uh... So anyways, this is Guts Man. Guts, of course, being the Japanese word for big bulldozer guy. I might be wrong about that, feel free to dispute me, but again, you'll have to have watched the video first to have uh, heard me make that claim. So I feel pretty safe in that. Like I said, folks, that was short. Not even three minutes. Oh, but there's more levels. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with Cutman next. Cut, of course, being the Japanese word for, uh, to slice. So anyways, I like Cutman's level. It's a bit long, but, uh... Oh, it's not that hard. It's fun. Plus, uh... This is a level I'm really, really good at. Uh, mainly because, uh... Well, I've played this a lot. At once, I fancied myself very good at this game. I even won a, even won a Mega Man tournament once, but uh, I think that was mainly due to uh, um, I don't know. I wouldn't call it dumb luck. I did have some pretty good skills, but that's when I wore a younger man's clothes about two or three years ago. Yep. Scissor vending machines on the fritz. So anyways, yeah, I used to be really, really good at this game. I, I actually won something called the Mega Man Awesome Challenge at uh, Gen Con uh, a couple years ago. And they haven't held it since, so I've declared myself the king of Mega Man. Even though my uh, my skills have significantly dropped since then, as, as I'm certain most of you will get to see. But, uh... There was a series of challenges, and basically it was just try to do this, try to do that. It was kind of like horse, but, uh, something like that. Anyways, long story short, I won it, and, uh, it all went to my head. <laughs> Actually, at one point was, uh, trying to, uh, get a crown built, <laughs> declaring myself as the king of Mega Man. But, uh, I'm older, wiser, and, uh, not very good at the game anymore, so...
Why is like these guys? They look so dumb. I don't need that. Now yeah, watch this. These are the moves that got me all the ladies in college, I tell you that. Doesn't matter what car you drive. Doesn't matter what shirt you're wearing. It's about how well you do on Cutman stage. Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. Alright, yeah, that's, that's a lie. I didn't really have a whole lot of girlfriends in college. Why did I mention? I was all by myself. All by myself. So anyways, now we're to cut man. Uh, you'll notice he has a uh, pair of scissors on his head because uh, he's a timber felling robot. And uh, I know when I think cutting down trees, I think of scissors. No one could say that they might be shears, but that's more for tree trimming than timber felling. So. Dr. Light was uh, a genius in robotics, but not very good at... Uh, tree trimming, I guess. Or tool identification. So now, uh, I guess we'll go on to a luck man. It's all just climbing. Let's see if I can get through this level without, uh, Breaking out the old cutter. Ooh, that was good. Alright. Well, so far I'm on a roll, so I'm inevitably gonna blow it now. So, well, no, blow so far, so nice. good. Hey, so, a luck is short for electricity, I guess. Because, um,. Oh, well, Capcom was paying by the letter back in the day, and you know, the cheap bastards just couldn't pony up that extra bit for electricity for the uh, the rest of the word electricity. Believe it or not, that was actually that those two screens back there were actually a challenge in the Mega Man Awesome Challenge. It was get through those screens with a sliver of life and uh, basically get to this screen and. <laughs> Yeah, that was the first one up, and uh, they had to re they had to rewrite the challenge after <laughs> after I went because <laughs> I made it halfway through the stage. <laughs> Always like the music from this level. It just sounds weirdly patriotic to me. I don't know. Like I said, no shortage of ladders in this level. Oh, they went and got me, didn't they? Oh well. I'm still doing pretty good. Oh, what's that? That's why we went to Guts Man first. The Magnet Beam, which, eh, it's just a platform generator, it's nothing special. But, yeah, there's like a certain area in the game you just can't get by without it, so. When I was a kid, me and my friends used to love the Mega Man series, but uh, not many of us had ever actually played the first one. I never actually even played it until I got into college, uh, because it was such a rare cartridge to come across where I lived. Uh, I played all of them after, after part one. In fact, Mega Man 2 was the very first game I ever played. But, uh... This one was a hard uh, one to find, so it wasn't until I was a lot older that I actually got to play it, and uh, it was tough. <laughs> it was very tough.
It was also, I think, the one that I played the most um, in my later years. Mainly because of the fact that um, I never got a chance to play it much as a kid. Alright, now there's a trick to a luck man of beating him with just the blaster, and let's see if we can pull it off. And it's laughably simple, but surprisingly challenging. You have to have just beautiful fucking timing. So far, I'm doing good, but uh, I've been known to choke right at the last second. This guy's really tough because only three shots from him will take you out. And, uh, yeah. He got me. Like I said, I used to be good at this game. Used to be good. Not so much anymore. We'll give it another shot. Why not? If he hits me, I'm just gonna break out the scissors. It'll be victory. Victory without honor, mind you, but victory. Look at him, acting all smug. Raising his hands. Throwing his hands in the air like he just don't care. I think I can do it. Yeah, fuck you, elect man. in the wrong neighborhood.